Operation Gateway, like fucking uh, Operation Mockingbird, MK Ultra, like that shit. And I just was like, <sighs> this was on my shit. And I was just something, and you know, and then all the um, Jeffrey Epstein shit at that time, yeah. dude. Yeah. Just man, like, what the fuck is going on? I was like into that shit. Uh, and you know, so I learned about that stuff, and then I, uh, so I don't know what you call. It. I'm a psychonaut, dude. I love DMT. I love acid. I love mushrooms. I've done it. I can't even tell you how many times, bro. Like, I love that shit. And I used to live in Yosemite National Park, uh, which is very close to where I live. I live in Central California, uh, so I'm very close to there. And I moved up there and got a job. Anyway, had cool experiences, and I met a buddy. And he hit me up, and he's like, "Hey, bro, I got acid and DMT. You interested?" And I was like, "Oh yeah." absolutely send it my way so he sent me a dmt card some acid and i just one day i learned about wim hof uh on youtube and i was like i'm gonna try this breathing technique like fuck it like what else am i doing sitting here fucking staring at a screen for 16 hours a day whatever you yeah know? so i just started like fuck it what, what do i have to lose so i went and did that shit and i was like you know what what if i did that shit before i hit the dmt pen and so i did and then uh, uh, okay have you you listened to tool <laughs> yeah since i was a kid i did yeah okay dude tools one of my favorite bands of all time i love them so much i just saw them here recently where i live you know fanboy woo woo yeah i love them uh but dude i went to the fucking album cover of fucking um lateralist <laughs> no the next one i'm sorry i just spaced out um ten thousand days ten thousand yeah. days yeah, but I went to like the color version of that shit. And I was just laying in my backyard, like in those like it looked very similar to those people were just like looking down upon me. I felt like a little microscopic, I don't know, man. And like they were just towering over me. Like I was laying on a table and like they're just standing over me. And I'm like I wasn't scared, but I was like, what the fuck? And oh. I just in my head. They were just like, hey, man, you know what? You're doing okay. You're doing all right. Just keep fucking going. Don't give up. Like, you, you get through this shit. You know, uh, just pretty much like, you know, like, you're doing okay, buddy. You know, you. That, that's what kind of was popping up in my head. And after that trip, I was like, what the fuck? Um, that's, yeah. Yep. Yeah, bro. But just in color instead of black and white. Yeah, like the Alex Gray. I mean, I think this is yes. Alex Gray shit. It's just black. It is and white. Alex Gray. Yeah, yeah, I follow him on Instagram. I love his art. Amazing. Uh, yeah, I pretty much went there. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, whatever. And then, um, yeah, I had a lot of bad shit going on. I was in a shitty relationship. And it was falling apart and then we i was living with my girlfriend's brother who was like borderline schizophrenic like couldn't yeah he like dude he kicked me out of the house because he thought i was trying to sell the house to the solar guy who came to the door like yeah i feel your pain there i had a i was attacked by a paranoid schizophrenic recently who tried posted a picture of my face online and called me a pedophile saying I was trying to threaten to murder her child. And uh, yeah, this whole ass thing, like, and I didn't know who she was. She literally just saw my profile in a story post and made whatever, man. Some souls are just programs, really. <laughs> I, dude, yes. I tell people, some people are NPCs. Some people are like robots, dude. And like, I wish it wasn't that way. I don't want to try to judge and hate on them, but uh, bro, it's <laughs> <laughs> but um Don't so wait. yeah i was in i was, i fucking hope so uh <laughs> so that was like a big step for me and then uh i kind of went back into normieville went back into suppression depression smoking weed all day you know fucking uh using games as and weed as a um suppression to wait uh my trauma my pain and shit Hell yeah. uh, Classic, you know, fucking. Uh, you're feeding and then the after, void, yeah. You're feeding the hole yeah. in your heart. That's your higher self calling you, basically. And all we th we know is external materialism. So we're like, oh, this should work. Oh, it works for like five minutes, but it doesn't really suffice. So then more and more and more. <laughs> Dude, it was to the point I was playing video games like eight plus hours a day, and then I would get off, yeah. and I'm like, Dude, why did I? This I even did I even have fun? 
what the fuck am I doing, bro? Like, I just grinded this shit and got salty and mad for, like, eight hours. And right. then, like, uh, bro, it just hit me. Um, <laughs> but on to the next thing. So I dated a new girl, got out of that shitty situation. You know, things got better for a bit. I moved back in with my parents. Um, then I met this new girl at a party. My buddy, he was like, hey, come 4th of July party. You know, all right, come over. I met this girl. We kick it off. It's really cool. And then finally, uh, she ends up breaking up with me like six months later. And it was like, <sighs> like it was the straw that broke the camel's back. But something really weird fucking happened, bro. So it's like a month after we break up, you know, I'm all like, you know, sad. And, you know, in, yep, yep. I'm in. Uh, and my homie's like, hey, come to our homies. It's his birthday. He lives at the coast. We're going to go hang out, you know, whatever. Come through. I'm like, okay, absolutely. So we go uh, to Pismo Beach, it's the central coast here, California, a couple hours away. I'm with I'm with two of my really good buddies. I've known for like 10 years. We're just standing out on the on the pier at the end. It's, it's an overcast day, super mm -hmm. cold. And I'm just chilling there. I'm just looking out into the void. Like I'm not thinking shit. I'm just like present. And I'm just breathing. And it's it's like someone got bubble wrap. And in the side, in my head, like, went, <laughs> and I was like, what? and like, but it felt amazing. Like, I felt like I was tripping for a second. Like, I don't know what the fuck happened, but like, it was so weirdly existential. I'm just looking out of the ocean. And I just like, <laughs> like in like the center of my head. And I'm just, I felt like I was tripping. Like, I, like something was going to leave. I was going to go do some esoteric shit i don't even know what i'm trying to tell you bro well you weren't on anything absolutely not i smoked a little bit of pot earlier but no okay. psychedelics no nothing yeah you had an activation of some kind so when i a lot of times when i pushed kundalini shakti up my spine into my brain and then other times i, I can feel the toroidal sphere around my brain being manipulated and pulled and expanded and, and it i'll get these popping sounds that I even tried to, uh, someone's like, that's oxygen bubbles in your cerebral spinal fluid. And I'm like, oh my God, I can hear them. And then I talked to a ER doctor about it. He laughed at me, of course. And, but that nonetheless, I still fucking hear it. I still feel it. It's like this decompression that takes place and this popping bubble. Yes. Bro. And like when I focus on my breathing and try to do that, like I get that feeling in, in the center of my head too. And I'm just like, like if I really focus on my breathing, taking really deep breaths, you know, breathing right, shoulders down, relaxed, you know, just diaphragm focused, you know, tighten, tighten the, I think on one of your videos, tighten the perennial, the butthole muscle <laughs> should have me laughing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, bro, but I try, you know, and I don't know. Sometimes you get this like weird crackly feelings in my head and I'm like, okay, what the fuck is this? <laughs> You're activating. It's uh, not all at once. It's slowly but surely for a lot of people. Um, okay. But yeah, man, it's uh, it still happens to me all the time. I, and especially I notice through astrological alignments, uh, it'll it'll kind of accelerate, and with like flares and shit. Sometimes it even gets uh, creepy, man, like scary almost. Like one time recently, I was going on a walk with my girl, like 3 a.m. And I just like get out the apartment, go down the street, and all of a sudden it was just like doing that pop, 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 pop. And then I got kind of like nauseated and, and dizzy of like vertigo a little bit. And I was like, whoa, dude, like dissociative. And then it, yeah, came, that's what I felt. Then it, yeah, then it came back. The other day, I was sitting on the fucking couch, and my consciousness, me, just goes <laughs> like that. Like my vision, everything, like my astral body just went. <laughs> Like this, <laughs> and just went back. Yeah, you know, it's like it's like it went out of my head and over here. I saw it in everything, and then I came back like this. It was so crazy. But yeah, the the light bodies are being stimulated right now. All the little toroidal fields, all the little energy meridians and ley lines, they're all being coded out right now by the increase, the influx of uh, photons and and plasma that's hitting us from the fucking star right now. You saw the succession of X-class flares recently, like two weeks ago, right? It was a huge uh, storm. Okay. 
Yeah, you didn't see it? There was fucking auroras all the way down to the equator, which happened fucking 150 years ago. It's like super, super rare, dude. They were they had they had green. It all the northern lights came all the way down the planet, bro, and poured down like to the the underneath the equator, which is not supposed to happen normally. So our star basically is traveling into a, a giant cloud of, of charged particles through the uh, uh, edge of the galaxy. It's like a accretion disk of condensed soup of energy, basically that we just enter it into with the age of Aquarius. So the star is like taking it all in like a plasma ball getting charged up and then it's going to release them. And they go to plants, 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 plant, literally lift up the entire solar system's frequency with these, with this energy. And so it's going to come into you too. It is right now. And so, yeah. Dude, like maybe is that why the reason after like a couple of years of following you, I finally just decided, fuck it, I'm gonna pull the trigger and yeah, it's dude, a quick, dude, dude, quick it was in my sure. dreams. <laughs> it was in your dreams, dude. Yeah, you showed up in my fucking dream one night, bro. Like, I I don't really dream when I dream. I don't remember them too much. Like every night, I know I dream, and I can remember like some still picture images. I can't really tell you too much, but nah, man. One night in my dream, just like I'm in my room or something, and you were there, and I was like, oh hey, what's up, Jason? And then you know, and wake up. <laughs> What the frick is this just on Instagram? I don't You're know. not alone, dude. I, I've heard that maybe a hundred times. I, 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 and I knew, you know, <laughs> the first. Just, I'm here for a mission, and it's to help kind of way show the newer generation. So basically, there's spurts of awakening awakenings that are taking place. Like there's one in the hippie movement in the 60s, but it kind of just went off the rails. Uh, but uh, there was another big one around 2012 okay and that's what that's when i woke up and so i spent 2012 to 2017 going through pure hell uh and and having succession of activations that and it, that then led to a kundalini rising or shakti and then that took a whole nother six seven years to become a full kundalini awakening so between 2012 and uh 20 23 or four, I, I had to learn all this shit. Uh, and then now I'm, I'm finally realizing why it's, it's everyone I'm talking to that's coming to me and 90% of them woke up during the COVID timeline. That was another activation period for people. Uh, shit. so yeah, I'm going to tell you the, the synopsis soon and you're going to have a lot in common with me. I, I basically was where you're at right around 2012 2013 14. so okay it's uh it's just waves of energy that's coming in and like some people it, they have to have a catalyst to finally wake up and start activating and it's through torsion physics it's through plasma physics it's really crazy and your consciousness so like you just have to have a, a couple really dark things dude that happen to you that like implode your torus and then this connection gets stronger and stronger. And then it, it literally starts creating this mag electromagnetic feedback loop that starts pulsing into your toroidal field. I just got chills all over. Oh, I love that so much. It starts pulsing into you and then it literally starts coding out your dormant etheric DNA. What I mean by etheric is it's like electromagnetics, basically. You have this, this whole blueprint that's like a template. It's just been dormant. It needs to be fed energy or charge or data and it just once you start creating this feedback loop it just starts filling out dude and then you'll start feeling all this weird shit like what is this sensation oh my god i had the most vivid insane dream last night and it just gets more 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 because the the electrical energy is higher consciousness data it's like a stream of data anyway it's fucking and a lot of people they go crazy bro so Kudos to you for reaching out for some kind of a guidance. I didn't do that. <laughs> Dude, I fucking, I asked the universe, I'm universe fucking, please help your boy out. I can't just keep having this shit happen to me all the fucking time. And just like, dude, yes. like, I, I see two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 four so much now to the point I'm just like, eh. 
like mm-hmm. at first I was like, oh shit. And now I'm just like, every time I look at, like, I'll just get a random urge to look at the clock and I'm like, oh, it's probably two to two threes or something like that. And, and fuck, dude. It's weird yeah, shit. So have you, have you done any, so that's where you're at now for the most part in a nutshell. 